Hi, I'm Chris Harvey from QA Training. This is one of a series of videos in which I'll be showing you how to use Excel more efficiently. In this particular video, I'll be showing you how you can enter a number into Excel and retain any leading zeros that you may have, for instance in a telephone area code, or maybe in a part number. There's two ways that we can do this, and the first way that I'm going to show you I would recommend mainly for a one-off event. If I'm only going to enter a telephone number into this one single cell, then I can simply precede my number with an apostrophe. An apostrophe tells Excel to treat everything that follows as text. Certain symbols and leading zeros will be displayed exactly as I type it in. So if I enter my telephone number and press enter, you'll see that Excel does indeed retain that leading zero. This may be easy to forget, however, if you're going to enter telephone numbers in an entire column, such as this instance here. In this case, it's best to tell Excel in advance, treat all of these cells as text. That way I don't need to remember the semicolon. I can do that in Excel 2007 and 2010 by coming to the Home ribbon and using the Number Format drop-down box. From here, I'm going to use Text, and I've told Excel in advance I will only enter text in here. I can pick a cell out and enter a telephone number, press enter and again it retains that leading zero. In both cases Excel gives me this small green triangle in the top left hand corner. This is a warning from Excel. Excel is trying to ensure that I know I have entered a number but formatted it as text. It's telling me this because I can't do many calculations with that number. If I need to do a calculation, then it needs to be in the number format. If I click onto the cell in question, or I can highlight an entire group of cells, come to the little icon on the left-hand side, and I get a number of choices. It's telling me here the issue that Excel thinks I have. The number is stored as text. And if I've entered it by mistake, I can convert these back to numbers. But what I really want to do is ignore the error. I'm fully aware that I have entered this as text, so ignore error takes those green triangles away. Two very simple ways of adding a leading zero to your spreadsheets. I hope that helps you. For more information about QA training can help you become proficient in Excel, please click on one of the links below.